Hello everybody, we're here in the Rockpick Legend Company workshop in the back. Today we're going to cut this geode with this saw and we're going to show you how it's done. A little bit of information real quick. This is a Covington 10 inch rock saw. Rock saws are a little different um, than like a wood saw. They're actually set to cut at about a rate of 9 inches per hour. Um, now a couple things about a rock saw. We always, always, always recommend that you wear hearing and eye protection when doing any kind of cutting. Uh, you'll also notice there's a kind of a mess here. That's because rock saws use a special oil to extend the life of the blade. Uh, we actually use the Covington Rockhound oil because it is less irritating to your skin and it actually doesn't have any bad smells or anything like that. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to have Frederick go ahead and start cutting this geode. Like I said, these rock saws don't cut very quickly, they're grinding. Okay, as you can see now, we got these two halves cut, and this is actually a really beautiful geode. Let me get in there before you get a nice shot. Now, it looks shiny now because it's wet with all that oil. Here in a second, we're going to wipe it off, dry it off, and you're going to see it has a frosty look to it. In the next video, we're going to actually polish this same geode. We're just going to hand polish it for you and show you what we're doing there and how that's done. Now, in any kind of situation when you're cutting a geode like this, um, we recommend that you use a warm, soapy water to go ahead and wash all that oil off and just make sure that your rock is really, really clean before you go into polishing. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and then we're going to move into polishing. As you can see, he's just using some dish soap there. We're just going to put a little bit on there. He's going to turn on that hose without squirting me. <laughs> and just give it a nice cleaning. That's it. That's all you need. We're just going to make sure that that oil is off. We don't want it contaminating our wheels. There you have it. Cleaned, cut, and ready for polish.